Hello and welcome to the channel and welcome to my gift giving guide for Universal Studios. Good for the holiday season and throughout the year for birthdays and such. Let's get to it. Now I do have a couple of caveats or disclaimers regarding this video, but we'll talk about those as we walk around. So what I'm going to do today is walk around the park, Universal Studios, popping into every major gift shop and show you one or two items that would be great as gifts. Now these are not souvenirs. For me, gifts and souvenirs, different but similar, both a lot of fun, um, but there is a difference between a gift and a souvenir. So I'm focusing on gifts today. We'll do another video at the beginning of the next year on souvenirs. And then the other thing I would really like to mention is that you do not have to be in the park to get the items I'm going to show you today. Universal Studios does have a merchandising service department. I'm going to give you information in the description box and on the screen of a phone number and an email. So things that you see in today's video, if you're really interested in those, you can contact them via the phone number or the email. Our first stop will be super silly stuff, the Minions gift shop. And for me, without a doubt, the number one gift from the Minions gift shop is the unicorn for $35. The It's So Fluffy unicorn. And believe me, this plush is super fluffy. Now they do have some smaller, less fluffy ones for $20. But if you're gonna give the gift, Go big. Get the big It's So Fluffy unicorn. Since this is the Minions gift shop, super silly stuff, we have to definitely give a gift that is something actually Minions. And I'm going to say go with the Minion slippers for $25. Those were the adult sizes. They do have youth sizes and they're a little cheaper at $22. Ah, heck, I guess I should mention they do have the It's So Fluffy unicorn slippers for the same pricing. Next up, let's head into the Shrek gift shop. This is a little harder to spot unless you're coming out of the Shrek attraction, but it's basically across the street from super silly stuff. Now what I have to show in here, I really would consider more of a souvenir, but it just makes such a great gift for dad and mom would be sexy ball guy t-shirts. The guy's shirt is $25 and the lady's cut is $30. A great gift for mom and dad, wouldn't you say? And I should point out the Shrek gift shop is also home to some Trolls merchandise. Let's go check it out. So what is going to go on my official gift giving list for the Trolls? It's going to be these character knit caps. And they are $27. Do you have a loved one who is a big fan of Jimmy Fallon and The Tonight Show? Well, we're going to stop into The Tonight Shop and show you a gift or two you can get for that loved one. So for the Jimmy Fallon or The Tonight Show fan in your life, we're going to go with three games on the list. Each game is $35. You have Box of Lies, Face It, and The Best Friends Challenge. All right, come on. I know you have someone in your life who loves The Tonight Show, who would love those games. And I guess if they are a super fan, you can get them a hashtag the panda costume for $100. That's going to be one big fan. Let's head on down into the streets of New York City. There's three stores in here. And of course, we will be adding some gifts from those stores onto our gift giving guide. We'll start with one of my favorite shops, The Film Vault. This is one of my favorite shops because it has like your classic movie items. You got a section for Back to the Future, a section for Jaws, a section for Ghostbusters, items like that. So if you're into like the classic Universal movies, this is where you want to be. They even have a little shelf space for I Love Lucy, as well as the Blues Brothers. Again, I'm trying to show you things that are more gifts versus souvenirs. Let's see how I do here. I have a couple gifts for you regarding Back to the Future. The first will be this die-cast time machine for $33. Has a little button that says, try me. I think we will. Oh, there it goes. Lights up. 
Again, $33 for this. And here's a gift I have actually given for $18. Now, I gave this to Nikki a long, long time ago, like uh, when we first started dating. She loved Back to the Future, so I got her a tag for her car. You would never guess what car she had it on. Get ready, guys. It was a red Dodge Daytona T-top. <laughs> a tan blonde lifeguard driving a red Dodge Daytona T-top with an out of time tag. How could I not fall in love? I think with the Ghostbusters, we'll just put the Funko Pops onto the list. $19. They've got all of them, it looks like. A lot of Jaws merchandise to choose from. I'm going to go with a couple things for your movie room. One of these I actually own, and that would be the throw blanket for $33. Nice to keep on your movie room couch at all times. Plus, if you get a little chilled, bundle up with it. It looks just like your classic Jaws movie poster. And again, if your loved one that you're buying for, or maybe you're buying a gift for yourself, and that's okay, uh, has a movie room, you do want to add this for $22, a wooden version of the poster. And if you happen to be buying for Christmas, a good stocking stuffer would be Jaws socks. And they run about $13. The socks, also good for birthdays. So next to the Revenge of the Mummy roller coaster, we do have the Sahara Traders gift shop. Basically the gift shop for the mummy ride. There's nothing in here that I would put on a gift giving list. There are some items that would make a souvenirs list, but that's not what we're doing today. On the edge of New York City, right across the street from Louis Pizza, there is Rosie's Iris Shop. I do have a gift, one or two in here, I would like to put on the list. Yes, my oldest daughter is a ginger. She just barely missed being born on St. Patrick's Day by one day. Oh my goodness, just one day. It would have been perfect. And here it is, the I Heart Ginger section. You got the hoodie for $45, the long sleeve shirt for $30, and the tank top for $30. $28, a ladies cut I Heart Gingers. And look at this little baby onesie. $23 for the I Heart Gingers onesie. Both of the I Heart Gingers knit cap and the I Heart Gingers ball cap, both are $25. Some Celtic jewelry would be a good gift. Inside this case here, it ranges from $120, we got $50, $75, $70, so between $50 and $120, get some nice Celtic jewelry. Before we get too far from this area, we need to head over into the Transformers gift shop. Something pretty cool in there to show you. And this particular item would make for a very unique gift for someone. There we have Mel's drive-in, and right here we have the Supply Vault, the gift shop of the Transformers ride. I know you guys can get Transformers stuff pretty much anywhere, so there's only one thing I'm going to put on my list. And that will be this Megatron Beast War statue for $2,275. Take a look at it. Just kidding. I just wanted to show you that. It's not officially on my gift buying list. Nope. If I can't afford it, it doesn't make the list. What's making my list, it's only $35, but this framed Bumblebee card along with to the right you see a little clip from the actual movie and I do believe the clip does feature Bumblebee so if you want to own an actual piece of the film from the movie $35 here at the supply vault also they have the same thing with Optimus Prime the fast the furious the supercharged the gift shop and what's the deal with all the thes I always say the fast and the furious is an inside joke between me and some viewers. And now you know, so let's step inside custom gear and find at least one item to add to our gift buying list. There are tons of fast and the furious fans. I'm sure someone in your life is a fan. There are tons of die cast cars. In fact, a whole wall, but that's not going on the list today. We're gonna go with something I would want as a little boy, and heck, maybe even now, Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR remote control car with drift power slide. 
and this is 85 bucks. And don't forget, if you're interested in any of the stuff you're seeing today, call that phone number or email that email address. Tons of shops in here, Diagon Alley, for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We're not going to show you everything. That would be insane. That is too much. But we will show you a few items that would be good gift-giving items. Of course, a magical one makes a wonderful gift for any loved one. I recommend you get an interactive one. Those are $55 and that you find out who that person's favorite character is and get a character one. But the thing I really want to put on my list is inside of Nocturne Alley, inside of Bergen and Burks. So what we have here is Lucius Malfoy's cane for $125. And yes, his wand is inside the cane. The wand is not interactive, but regardless, you get the whole cane and the wand for $125. The perfect gift for the dark wizard in your life. We could spend all day in here, but we're not. We've got a few more shops and a few more gifts to show you elsewhere. Into the MIB gear shop. Another shop I think is more souvenir appropriate versus gift, but we'll find a thing or two in here for you. So for here, we have two items. We're gonna go with the the Neuralizer for $17, and then also the Cricut Gun, which is also $17. Adding those two items onto our gift giving guide. The Cricut Gun was for the kids. Dad deserves this standard issue agent sidearm for $750. That's what Dad deserves. They only made 1,000 of those. That one is number 113 out of 1,000. Our next stop will be the Quickie Mart, Surely you have a Simpsons fan in your life and surely we will find something great in here for them And don't call me Shirley Tons of great stuff in here, but again, I'm looking for gifts not souvenirs To go in the gift guide I'm gonna say the Homer Simpsons pajama bottoms which I do own for $30 and then for mom we're gonna go with the world's absolute greatest prettiest bestest mom sleep shirt and that is also thirty dollars a great shop for souvenirs in fact i did a whole store tour of this shop go check it out right here i detail the entire store for you guys not quite at the end yet you're almost there though i want to remind you click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view but as for now, we have a few more items to add to our gift list. Let's go check them out. Plenty of good souvenirs inside of E.T.'s toy closet, but is there anything we would consider a gift? Our gift will be this hand-painted collector's quality resin of E.T. and it is $39. And then if you want one you can actually cuddle with, you want this plush here for $22. Okay, with this, I'm going to kind of break my rule because I consider t-shirts to be more souvenirs but I cannot resist. I do love the it's all good in the hood t-shirt for $28. I couldn't I could not resist showing this to you guys. Now that we're here on Hollywood Boulevard let's head into the five and dime for some classic monsters gifts. If you have someone in your life who loves classic universal monsters right inside the five and dime this is where we'll find something for them. No, the statues of the classic monsters, Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Frankenstein's monster, the mummy, the bride of Frankenstein, are not for sale. So for the gift list, I think we'll go with these little miniature laminated movie posters. And they are $16, several different movies to choose from. It's just a shrunken down version of the old classic movie posters. A great gift for someone who has a movie room or some type of media center in their house. And personally, I think a good gift would be this right here for $60, a Bates Motel bathrobe. I wouldn't mind having that myself. You know what, for $25, go ahead and add in the Bates Motel bath towel. No extra charge for the blood splatter. And there you have it, your ultimate gift guide to Universal Studios. Hit the like button so I know to do it for Islands of Adventure. And as always, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rich Flicks. And now, it's time to relax.